So what we have here is our test starts so we can get an ideal of the germination rate and what they're going to look like in 30 days. Today is January 21st, 23. And here in a second, I'm going to put Ziploc bags over the top to kind of create a humidor. And we'll come back and check on them in a week. Week one update. Let's start up here at the top. There's our vining tomatoes from the seeds from a Walmart tomato. Good old cantaloupe. Then we get down in here. Our watermelon has popped up. The cucumbers right there, these two. That should be no surprise. Carving pumpkin and the white pumpkins. Yeah, that might be a problem by the end of the month. The deal. Now, the lavender, if it doesn't do anything, I won't be surprised because I figured out that I've done the seeds wrong. Basil. And nobody there yet. I was kind of hoping the bell peppers would have popped up. Nothing out of the cherry. started over here so there is our temperature and humidity for the moment the humidity was a tad bit higher but I raised the plastic and got distracted so it's gone down Did you notice the plastic bags that I talked about they're not on here my wife made a good point babe if the plastics down in front of the stand why do we need the bags she takes care of them for me during the week I travel for my job so we'll come back in a week and see where they all made it to and if we pull this off week three to the end of this in 30 days I'm going to do a time lapse for that whole week so we'll have to see how that turns out <laughs> Hi anybody who's watching this and welcome back to the plant stand. We are heading into week three and let's see what we've got going on here. The Walmart vining tomato and I call it that because as I've said previously we got the seeds out of a Walmart tomato. Now our white pumpkin are doing pretty good. Oh, if you haven't noticed or you will in a second that I've moved some of these around and I'll show a better picture of why. Cantaloupe's still not bad. I did pick a couple of the other seedlings out of there to thin that out just a bit. Now if we get down here, I'm still letting the carving pumpkin kind of go a little nuts. The dill's made a little progress. Our cucumbers aren't doing too bad. Now, the thyme has finally popped up, or thyme, whatever you want to call it. But it's slow going, so that's something I'll need to remember for later. What we got here? Oh, I don't remember what that is over there. Is that, oh, that's our watermelon. Yeah. I should grab a screenshot from last week's and put it in there with it. Now, the lavender still hasn't done anything. And these other herbs have not as well. So... I'm noticing a little bit of white growth on there, so I think they may be getting too much water. Also dealing with a little bit of fungus gnats. Anybody who's ever had plants knows what that's like. Still nothing out of the bell peppers. That's disappointing. Parsley's finally decided to make an appearance. The Roma tomatoes and the cherry tomato did nothing. So I'm just going to blend that on the seeds. 
Now our fancy Italian tomato here is finally sprouted up. The one I'm really hoping for our Cherokee purple. That's getting a little bit better. And our Independence Day tomatoes, or Fourth of July tomato, depending on what part of the country you live in, they were kind of looking eh, but they're slowly starting to make their way back. So I think we're doing okay. And there's our temperature reading for the day. Now the humidity was up at 46 before I came in here. I'll do a pan around real quick. So when I go to do our seeds for the plants that will be sold as well as our own, I will start them off in these little totes to make little bitty humidifier domes, if you will. And then as that when they pop up, or when they start to sprout, I'll let them get so big and then I'll pop the lids off and then we'll pluck them out and then we'll put them in their little four inch pots that they'll be sold in or for us. Now there's also, you've probably seen these huge tomato plants here. They got big enough I had to get them out of there. This one back here is a clone from our garden last year. It's a beefsteak. And the other ones, I want a sh real important thing. Anytime you do a plant, always put a tag on it. I want to say these were from the garden as well, but these were, these might have been a, a bush tomato on the, or a determinant, so I don't remember. There'll be mysteries this year. But anyway, back to this. We've got some strawberries starting up down here. These will be the, the little incubator stations, if you will, whatever you want to call them. And then these are about to get sacrificed. That was just to see how well seeds coming out of a tomato plant would do. But anyway, back to our actual video, what we're talking about. This is our progress for the week. Um, still not decided yet on the time lapse of video because I am... <sighs> see how good I do this. I'm working on one. The purple container is microgreens. And then that one there is going to be a cantaloupe time lapse. So I've got that going on at the same time. So we're going to wait and see. There's our little bell pepper plant that's been surviving forever. And this is where the mom's got moved to for now. My wife's got plans for those, I guess. But I hope, I hope we'll have a decent little progress in the next week. Uh, change the watering schedule a little bit give them a little bit more water I don't want to give anybody any fertilizer yet I think that's too early so we'll come back oh let me move this for a second I'm going a little long winded today it's going to be fun editing sugar cane that popped up a hell of a lot better than what I thought it would as you can tell from the date I just started that here at the end of January so, all right, that's all for this uh, chapter. See you all in a week. All right, so here we are. Week four update on the indoor plant stand for our seed starts. As you can see, we've got a 75 degrees. So, real quick, I added some of that Mylar, the emergency blanket stuff you can buy at the camping section at Walmart. I see another guy using this video. It's great to be able to look through, but boy, it was like 85 degrees in here today. So, yeah, be warned on that one. Anyway, updates. Here we go. So, our Walmart tomato seeds from the tomato. Got sriracha, white, the white pumpkin. Now, I don't know why we have that yellow tent in the film or the filming, but that might, I don't see it here as I'm recording, so that may be something I need to address. Okay, I can see it on that one. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions or thoughts on that, let me know. Oh, our Roma tomato finally decided to make an appearance. So is our California bell pepper. These guys here are doing a lot better. If anyone's paying attention, you can tell that I added some more soil. Those who don't know, tomatoes are really the only plant or vegetable plant, viney plant, excuse me, 
that you can add soil up to up the roots or the, the, the stem and those little hairs there will turn into roots and it will continue to grow that way. Um, down here, nothing that nobody really cares about, but we got uh, seeds that are going to be starting. There's strawberry seeds. Uh, our cherry tomato finally decided to pop up a seed. I don't know how I feel about that. These tomatoes here are from our Aldi's tomato, the vining tomato that we started on the 23rd of January. And we're going to be doing a uh, compost cow manure uh, watering solution food for these guys and it'll be a time lapse video. I'll start that work next week. Speaking of time lapse, I'm not going to do a time lapse like I'd said earlier for the final week. But here we go. We're not doing bad. I'm sad that the sage and the oregano never did anything. Thyme finally popped up. So, oh, I did have to thin out. Where's my, yeah, my cantaloupe. I thinned it out from three plants to one. So hopefully that's not a bad thing. But anyway, uh, final week, here we go. All right, week four of the plant stand and how things were going. So as you can tell definitely now in this update, you can see the yellowing in the leaves. And I have found out, or I'm suspecting, that it's a potassium deficiency with my soil mix. So I'm going to try to correct that over the weekend and see before I start doing anything else on a larger scale. If we can correct it, then cool. But go through here a little bit slower sorry yeah you can really see the yellow highlights in the in the camera now which ones are affected and which ones aren't kind of sad that the colored peppers never did anything or the oregano but I've mentioned that um, beef steak that didn't do squat but I have that over here this was from our garden last summer from a clone that I grabbed at the end of the year. These are still doing their thing. Nothing's germinated yet. The strawberries, they still kind of, they kind of got the little yellow tint to them as well. So we'll add some stuff to that. Um, sugar cane, doing a lot better than I thought it was supposed to be doing. <coughs> Excuse me. The microgreens experiment that went off pretty well. So, in conclusion, I have a timeline now on about where I can be at in a month on certain things. Background noise is my dog playing with her toy. So, I'll have a way to remember later on how long it took me to grow what. And, uh, get a good look. One last time, right there. All right, for those of you who have watched the short versions of these, thanks for stopping by. And for those who have really stuck out and watched the long version, which we're finishing here, I appreciate your patience and your time. Hopefully as we do more of these, we'll get a little bit more knowledgeable and as well as better at shooting the videos. One last shot of the tomato clones there. Anyway... Thank you all, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.